In this video, we're going to review the Watson Marlow 323 pump and discuss how to operate it, how to select tubing, how to adjust the pump head, how to load tubing, how to set the memo dose, and how to add additional pump heads. First thing you can do, the on-off switch is located near where the power cord enters the back of the pump, here. The 323 pumps, like most Watson Marlow's pumps, are designed around a specific wall thickness of tubing. The 323 can, be, can come with a pump head that accepts either 1.6 millimeter wall thickness tubing or 2.4 millimeter wall thickness tubing. And the way that you know which you have is you look at your pump head, and hopefully this shows up on the video, and on the label on the very bottom, it'll actually say which, which wall thickness of tubing it's specified for. The pump can operate from 3 to 400 RPM. Very simple to adjust the speed. You can adjust the speed while the pump is running or not. doesn't matter. Just the up and down arrows. It's set at the minimum RPM now. And you see as you hold the arrow down, let's say we want to go higher in RPM, you'll see the RPM on the display starts to go up by larger increments the longer that you hold it down. So you don't have to hold it forever if you want to go, let's say, up to 200 RPM from 3 RPM like we just did. So for this demo right now, we're going to use 3.2 millimeter ID tubing. 3.2 millimeter ID is the same as 1 8 inch ID. And I'm going to show you briefly how to adjust the pump head when you know which tubing ID you're going to use. It's very, very simple. We'll use this pump head just to show you, hopefully, it, again, these, hopefully these marks will show up in the video. To adjust it for your tubing, first you need to know the ID of the tubing that you're using. You open the pump head. There's hash marks right here that correspond to the ID of the different IDs of the tubing that will fit. And these pump heads will take from 0.8 millimeter ID, 0.5 millimeter ID, actually all the way up to 8 millimeter ID. So for the 3.2 millimeter ID that I've chosen, there's 3.2. I use this little knob to adjust the hash mark to line up with 3.2. I do that on both sides, and my pump head is now adjusted. This one's already been adjusted, so we're going to load the tubing. It's very simple. Open the pump, lay the tubing across the rollers, and gently close the head. Now you're loaded. We'll pump clockwise for this demo. We'll get the tubing into the reservoir. And in order to prime the pump, we'll put both tubes in the same reservoir. And hopefully you can see the flow. And there you go, now it's primed. Can turn it off. The 323 pumps have a feature built in called Memo Dose. And what that is, it's a way to do repeated dispensing when accuracy is not the primary requirement. This is not meant to be a filling or dispensing pump, but for repeated laboratory dosing, this function is built in. And let me show you briefly how it works. In this case, you would need some way to measure your dispensed volume, either a graduated cylinder, a beaker, a, a balance. So we'll use this balance, we'll set it on grams, and we'll try to get somewhere in 25 or 30 grams, 25 or 30 mils, into our target vessel. And when we do that, we hit the start. When we get to our target, we hit stop twice in a row. So we hit stop, and it looks like it went to 29 grams. Now, if you look at the display, you'll see the display has changed from RPM. Now it flashes between 100 and DOS. DOS meaning the dose function, 100 meaning 100%. We dispense 29 grams. Let's see what happens now. If we hit the start key, we should get that identical volume dispensed, and the pump will stop on its own. And you can see it counts down from 100% to zero. That's, and let's see what we dispense. Okay, we got 28 grams. Let's try another.
And again, we get 28 grams. If we decide that we actually needed to dispense more or less, we simply adjust the 100 with the up and down arrows. If we wanted, we, we, we didn't dispense enough during our target dose. We want to go up uh, by 10%. Now we go to the up arrow. Now we're going to adjust that dose up. Let's see what it comes out to. So we've adjusted 28 grams up, and now we dispense 31 grams. To get out of the memo dose function is very easy. It's the same way you got in. You pressed the stop key twice to get in, you press the stop key twice to get out. And now you're back up to the RPM display, and you're ready to use the pump in a normal fashion as a transfer pump. The last thing I'd like to show is how to add pump heads to this pump. This pump can accept up to six pump heads, so you can do multiple simultaneous uh, channels of, of fluid transfer or of, of this type of dispensing if you like. And the way that you add pump heads is you would purchase additional pump, pump heads like this from Watson Marlow. That little tab is here. You remove the pump head that's on the pump. You make these two pump heads together. And then you simply make this to the pump. And sometimes it takes a moment or two to line them up, but there you go. You now have a two-channel pump. This pump will now operate with both channels. I don't know if you can see the rollers. Both heads are now pumping simultaneously, the same direction, same speed. That's a brief overview of the Watson Marlowe 323 pump.